Hi, this is Jamie with ISOTracker, and in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how courses can be created in the training module. So let's get started. There are two types of users in the training module. First, a login is just a regular user. All users can be trained by a trainer, but trainers cannot train themselves. All users have the action required, calendar, and training record icons. Now let's log out and log in as a user that I've previously assigned a trainer or training administrator status to. Trainers can create, manage, and close training events. Only trainers have the new training, my events, all events, setup, and prior NCR icons. Before creating a training event, you should upload your courses. That is done in setup. So let's click there, then click on courses. A course can be a document, a PowerPoint presentation, or a sound file. Videos cannot be uploaded, but they can be linked to a third-party site such as YouTube. We'll click on the plus sign here to add a new course, then give the course a name. You can enter course instructions, which will appear at the top when the course is being run, in this text box. The type of course def defaults to all but you can narrow it down to a more focused type so that when you create a training event for a job role, this course will be more easily found. If the course is a job role type, it is a good idea to associate at least one competency with this course, as a competency without a course cannot be added to a job role. So let's do that now. Next, click on the Upload button to select the course material. PowerPoint presentations will be converted to videos, and Word documents will be converted to PDF when that course is being run by a user. Select the courses to upload, then wait for the upload to be completed, and for the Delete button to appear here. Then click Submit. The Course Properties page is then displayed, with the details shown here at the top. Additional course material can be added to this course by clicking on the Upload button. Let's create another course. This time we will create a course which will be in the form of a video. We can enter course instructions if desired. Videos cannot be uploaded into ISOTracker because of their size. So instead we'll paste a link here to a video site such as YouTube and click Submit. The video can now be accessed by clicking on the video link under the action column here. And that's how courses can be created in the training module. In our next tutorial, we'll go over how to create tests and surveys. So be sure to check it out along with our other videos so you can make the most of ISOTracker.